All right, we are continuing our conversation with COVID-19, on COVID-19 with uh, local leaders from around the state. And we, we are talking about how this, how different communities rather are handling the virus. We want, are joined right now by the mayors of West Haven and Milford, as well as the first selectman of Guilford. We have first selectman uh, Matt Hoy, as well as Mayor Ben Blake from Milford. And we have Mayor Nancy Rossi from West Haven. We appreciate your time this evening. Good evening. Nice to be here. Good evening. All right, so we have heard some common themes from uh, leaders across the state, uh, you know, shortages on staffing in schools, uh, healthcare facilities trying to get testing done. Uh, we have this monumental effort that we're going to have to do with vaccinations just a week or two away at this point. Um, but I want to start with uh, uh, First Selectman Matt Hoy, because we were just talking during the commercial break, and you were saying that you guys have taken it upon yourselves to add a tool uh, because you feel like the state data, or not because you feel like, but because the state data seems to be a couple days behind. And so you're giving your residents uh, an opportunity to self-report. Can you explain that to us? I certainly can. Um, any system of the size that the state stood up uh, and with the multiple data feeds is going to na naturally result in some delays in reports. We were seeing that uh, cases were getting uh, showing up on the site, you know, three, four, five days after uh, positive test cases. So um, our fire department uh, and uh, assisted our uh, health department in developing a self-reporting tool on a software platform we have here that allows residents when they receive the test results themselves uh, to, to report it uh, confidentially via a link on our website. That allows our contact tracing folks to get a jump start because sometimes, you know, if you're four or five days out and you start the contact tracing, that's a much bigger pool uh, of people that you have to uh, have to get to as opposed to talking to the individuals and stressing the fact that they need to quarantine and isolate. Yeah, so true. I mean, so many of our communities, most of our communities here in Connecticut in the red, and we knew that um, these next couple months were going to be difficult. I want to turn things over right now to first selectman uh, Matt Hoy, who is in Guilford right now. And uh, you, you were talking about, uh, sorry, excuse me, I'm going to turn things over to ben, Mayor Ben Blake, who is in Milford right now. And you were, I was reading, uh, talking about how we saw a spike in cases. 8.1% was the latest number that I saw. And you have a new testing center that you've set up, correct? Yes, statewide numbers are going up. Uh, nowhere is immune. Milford is trending upwards, just like all the other communities in the state at this point during the second wave. And we are working with the state uh, Department of Public Health to ensure that we have uh, access to more testing, better testing. Uh, we are working with our Milford Mall, our local health department that has been flat out for the last eight, nine months is just doing a terrific job to make sure that the community is healthy. But uh, we are manning uh, or investigating another testing site uh, to make it more accessible uh, at the Milford Mall uh, one or two days a week moving forward. That's good. We need more access to testing, of course. Uh, Mayor Nancy Rossi over in West Haven, we know that you all have the VA facility there. Um, and, you know, my question for you, and, and I'm not sure if you know this at this point, too, but this first round of vaccines, are the healthcare workers there considered uh, frontline workers that are going to get that? Or are they going to be in that second you know, phase B. Once again, I don't have an answer to that, but what I do know is we did talk about, I had a department head meeting, and we did talk about vaccines and how they are going to um, be, um, you know, rolled out in West Haven. Uh, there's still some uncertainty, you know, exactly when, um, but um, they were talking about like the pecking order, who's going to get it first and essential workers and the healthcare workers. We didn't talk about the actual VA uh, workers because they are not um, city workers. But um, as far as the vaccine goes, um, yes, um, Joe Soto, our emergency management um, director, has done a fabulous job coordinating along with our health director, Maureen Lillis. We also have a hotline in which um, they, uh, anybody who does test positive for COVID, similar to what um, First Selectman Hoey was talking about with um, a software, ours is a hotline directly to the health department to self-report so that we can get a jump on contact tracing and not, not have a delay. 
And we also have um, a testing um, site at the Savin Rock Conference Center that is a drive-through that has worked um, very, very well. It has been operational for the last few weeks. It's uh, Monday through Friday, nine to three. Um, it's um, advised you make an appointment, but you can go and wait in line. So we're, we're trying all avenues to, you know, because I agree with what the other um, two gentlemen are saying that the numbers are going up. So we have to do everything we can to try to keep them, uh, at, you know, stable and going down. Yeah, certainly. I applaud all of you for trying to adjust in your towns with the self buttons for reporting as well as setting up those testing sites. It cannot be an easy time uh, to be leaders here in Connecticut. We appreciate your time for Selectman Matt Hoy, Mayor Ben Blake, Mayor Nancy Rossi. Appreciate you coming and telling me what's going on in your communities. Thank you for having us on. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much.